Hello YouTube, this is the Nerobin, and today I want to talk some more about Wraith the Oblivion. Uh, I want to talk about the powers that Wraith possess, and I will uh, not be very explicit uh, on them because I tried to do this once before, and uh, I only got to about one third of what I actually wanted to talk about, and was already at 12 minutes. So, uh, there are some basic powers that race possess, that have nothing to do with the Arcanas. Um, you have what is called Life Sight and Death Sight. Uh, these are only covered in the uh, in the player's guide, which is kind of strange, but uh, I will cover them anyway. Um, Life sight enables you to see emotions of people, and um, this is kind of a refined form of aura sight. If you are familiar with Ray uh, with Vampire the Masquerade, because you also can. Uh, discern uh, feelings two people have for each other once they uh, encounter each other. Then there is Death Sight, and this is uh, the ability to see weak spots in objects and people, uh, to see if someone is ill or wounded, even without seeing the physical symptoms of this condition. Um, then there is the power of insubstantiability. This is covered in the core rulebook. Uh, if you are in the uh, Shadowlands, uh, s uh, very near the real world, uh, you could be hit by a car. And in this uh, case, the rule of ouch applies. And the rule of ouch says if uh, something happens to you, that uh, would a normal human being at least uh, cause to say ouch, I love to say ouch, um, then uh, you lose one corpus point and you turn insubstantial. Then you are this for a certain number of rounds, I think they are based on your uh, uh, on one of your attributes, I don't really know right now. Um, after that you can be hit again and could again lose one corpus level. But it's very unlikely you will die from anything. Uh, you will lose all your corpus points, I mean, <laughs> from uh, something that happens in the real world. And already three minutes, I have to move on. Um, let's go to the Arcanas. Mm, each of the Arcanas is uh, uh, connected to a guild who specializes in this craft, and I will try to also uh, shortly cover them. Um, the first Arcanos is Argos, which is uh, basically a power that allows you to manipulate, uh, or to, actually is the power of movement in the underworld. Um, it allows you to find your way in the underworld, to uh, do so. Uh, you can go invisible for short periods of time, you can fly, you can jump higher or faster, and uh, you can uh, uh, shorten distances by teleporting in flickering manner, and you can toss someone deeper into the underworld. Um, this is a power that is uh, possessed uh, or the most proficient uh, people in this Argos are called the Harbingers, which is basically a, a guild of uh, messengers and uh, basically lifeguards. They are quite popular, as you can imagine, because they can uh, they try to rescue people uh, in, out of the mi midst of um, of the Sea of Shadows. Uh, they are sadly not covered with their own uh, guild book. And I uh, move to the next Arcanos. Castigate. Uh, this is a power to uh, weaken your shadow or to uh, 
read its intentions or to banish specters and uh, there are many more applications of this uh, but time um, the uh, guild that is associated with uh, Castigate are called the Pardoners and uh, they have certainly the feel of a, of a clerical organization even if they have no real religion um, the next power on the list is Embody Oh, uh, the Pardoners are covered in a guild book uh, Embody as I said this is the power to appear in the real world as an apparition. Uh, this begins with weak power that you can speak in the real world and uh, moves on uh, that you can appear as a ghostly, uh, as some ghostly visage uh, and uh, then it goes further to the point where you can uh, actually you have a at the last point uh, you get to uh, uh, appear in the real world in the flesh again for I think it was one heartbeat or one breath take I don't know um, the uh, embody is uh, the arcanus of the proctors uh, which are not covered by a guild book and I really don't know anything on top of my head of them. The next Arcanus is Fatalism. This is a power of uh, oracular abilities. Uh, the first power is to discern how a human is going to die if he is close to his death or to discern how a race died. Um, this moves on that you can uh, re try to read connections between things that you can um, get some kind of sense of what the future holds uh, you can also manipulate luck and uh, fitting as this is a oracular ability uh, the guild is called the oracles and they are uh, modeled after the Greek oracles um, you, uh, there is a guild book out of this uh, uh, for this guild. Um, uh, moving to the next, uh, inhabit is a power to uh, manipulate uh, technological devices. Um, in the core rule book, this is. Uh, most the powers contained therein are mostly for modern equipment. Uh, the guild book uh, holds powers that are more suitable for older equipment. Um, you can uh, hide inside uh, technological devices. You can uh, ride the Electron Highway, which is a very cool name. Um, and this brings you from point A to point B via electric cables. Um, you can uh, stop devices, you can repair devices, you can create artifacts and so on. Um, the guild is called the Artificers and uh, I really uh, like this guild the most. They reminded me a lot of the Hammerites and the uh, Mechanists of uh, Thief the Dark Projects. Uh, if you try to make a uh, role-playing game in that universe, I think this would be a perfect, uh, uh, perfect book to add to your collection. Uh, next uh, power is Keening. Uh, this is a power uh, of s of song. Uh, it is uh, designed to uh, manipulate emotions of people. Uh, on different levels and uh, to groups and sing single people and so on and uh, I think one of the the last are actually damaging to people this is uh, some kind of uh, uh, death fay uh, vibe I get there uh, the guild is called the chanteurs uh, which are basically bards uh, 
they are also not covered in their own uh, guild book, sadly. The next power is Life Web, which is a power that uh, concerns itself with fetters. You can see the connections of fetters, uh, uh, or you can see the the lines that represent a connection between a race and its fetter. You can discern its strengths. You can cut them loose. You can attach race to other objects. You can make uh, pacts with uh, with uh, people in the real world um, to become your fetter. Um, yeah, mm, these the guild is called the Monitors, and uh, I never really concern myself with them either. They also don't have their own guild book. Then there is Molly Eight, which is basically the power to shape corpus. If you know Vicissitude from Vampire the Masquerade, then I don't really have to tell you many mo much more. Uh, this is a power for spies and for soldiers, uh, if you want to make yourself uh, a steel, uh, a knife arm or something like that. Um, also for artists and uh, surgeons, if you will. Uh, the guild is called the Maskers and uh, they basically do everything that I just said and uh, they also uh, count uh, the most uh, prominent assassins among their uh, members. Uh, they have their own guild book. Uh, moving to the next, uh, the this is Outrage. Outrage is the power to uh, move objects in the real world, uh, to spook the hell out of people, um, and to actually uh, to levitate things, to punch people in the underworld and uh, the guild associated with this is called the spooks and they are basically mafia if you will um, they have their own guild book next power in line is pandemonium which is the other phase of haunting uh, you can make walls bleed uh, insects crawl out of places and such uh, the guild associated with this is called the Haunters and uh, they are very freaky uh, and have their own guild book. Uh, Phantasm uh, is a power to manipulate dreams and sleeping mortals um, and is also able to... you are also able to uh, influence slumbering wraith. Uh, the Sandman guild book is also one of the many th or one of the few that uh, s really stood out to me. It's really good. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, puppetry. Puppetry is uh, the ability to grasp a hold of a mortal's body and move in its place. Uh, this begins that you are able to slip into a mortal body and feel him. Uh, then you can do slight movements uh, then and you take more and more control over the mortal body. Uh, the puppeteers also have their own guild book and uh, uh, I really can't think of anything right now but I'm in the last minute, so um, moving on. The usury, uh, which is uh, the power uh, to shift um, energy uh, from one race to another. This can be corpus or paters and I think even willpower. Um, the usurers are some kind of banking people energy banks if you will. Uh, the guild is called Usurers and uh, they are also not covered in a book. Uh, but I think there are some other mention of them but I can't really think of where it was right now. Um, yeah, uh, sorry that was uh, this was so uh, hasty 
thank you for watching and uh, goodbye